Have you talked to Leo since his Oscar nomination? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. What did you say? Oh, we just traded some, some nice texts and everything, and he's happy. When you sit back and go, Leo got an Oscar nomination for portraying my life. You know, it's hard to wrap my, my uh, head around it a little bit. I mean, obviously I'm proud. I wish he, he played me and I was Jonas Salk, and I, you know, that was the character who had done wonderful things. So it's sort of a, a bittersweet a little bit. Jordan Belfort today. Our interview in Hermosa Beach, close to where he lives now, but a whole world and several years away from the stock swindling convictions that sent him to jail. We're making a name for ourselves. My first impressions? That Belford still acts and talks like a salesman, and that he's enjoying the Hollywood ride. I guess I can say I'm proud that I was able to turn my life around, and I'm amazed at how somehow this has happened, like this movie, I just can't believe it. Them having chosen Leo, one of Hollywood's leading men, to portray your life. What was your reaction when you first heard he would be the one playing you? The person that sent that book out to um, to Brad Pitt and to Leo and to, I think- So the, it is true, they were both fighting yeah, over yeah, the movie yeah, rights. Yeah, and, they were, and, and George Clooney, I think too, and Mark Wahlberg, and I think at the time, George Clooney was- You got Clooney all was, the handsome Hollywood honks fighting for your life story. Well, I know, it's, you know, I'll tell you what, it was tough to reconcile that, because at the time, I was just, you know, I was just getting out of jail and I was sort of rebuilding my life. And when I started writing the book, I mean, I never in a million years thought, anything like this would happen. I didn't even know how to write. I had to teach myself to write when I was in jail. So there was a bidding war and it came down to Brad and and um, and Leo. And ultimately, I you know, I was a, always a huge Leo fan. I think Brad Pitt is great too, but, um, and then Leo attracted Marty. I heard that Leo was gonna get Marty directed. I'm like, wow, I mean, Leo and Marty, it seemed like it was too good to be true. So, um, and yeah, and um, so I went with Leo. It took still took five or six years to get made, but ultimately it did get made. And the number one thing I take away from this interview, Belfort has done a lot of growing up. He no longer seems to be that wild oh, man to something like Wall Street. Oh, Wall Street. This is the greatest company in the world! You know? Did you think he sounded like you? And, you know, not like my, just his mannerisms and you know, the energy he was able to, uh, to sort of, you know, create that like, sort of my sort of energy. And, and, and the thing I think, people don't know about Leo is it's not by accident. Like he worked really hard. Yeah. He spent so he much does. time with, with me personally and just preparing and I'm How sure much time did he spend? Lot, with I mean you? I, I countless hours. Countless hours going like days, over days, months? Months, months. I understand he actually videotaped you because Leo had never done quaaludes. <laughs> videotaped you showing him what quaaludes would be yeah. like. I was in his we were in his house and uh and that's uh, a funny story. So you know he asked me to, to go through the phases of a of a Quaalude high, so I went through the different phases, and then I think his father walked in while I was doing it. What did <laughs> his father say? Didn't know. <laughs> so I think I was rolling around the floor. You know, it was really fun. What did Leo's dad <laughs> say? Just work. We're just working. Yeah. <laughs>